any army um, didn't know say police are come this morning, man. Me, <laughs> ah, boy. Me and him with a talk out there with me cut last. Come in the sit down at the gate. Welcome. If you're new viewer here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. People, once again, our topic is about the alleged cop killer who was shot and killed by police off Spanish Town Road yesterday morning. His mother is now saying that if she didn't know so the police them would have come, should have meet them at the gate with her machete. And she is 100% sure that her son is innocent. But just for refreshing her memory, or for the people who never get the details, here it is one more time. A suspected cop killer was shot dead by cops in Kingston on Tuesday morning. The deceased has been identified as 21-year-old Giovanni Rodney, otherwise called Pim Pim of Portmore Villa Address. Rodney was suspected in the killing of a 57-year-old police sergeant of St. Andrew's South Division on September 19. Police reported that Rodney was shot dead about 5 a.m. during an operation by law enforcers officers off Spanish Town Road. So viewers and subscribers, a police officer was killed in Gregor Park, Portmore last week at 1 a.m. in the morning. It was said that he was in a yard playing a game of dominoes when he was attacked by a gunman who shot him multiple times to the upper body. Investigation was ongoing into the incident and Pim Pim was listed as a person of interest. It was stated that he was supposed to turn himself into the nearest police station. However, he did not. Any army um, didn't know say police had come this morning, man. Me, <laughs> ah, boy. Me and him with a talk out there with me cut last. Come in the sit down at the gate. Me that sit down at the gate. You understand me? And you need to know this. And you need to know this. Them say show me a company and I will tell you who you are. So for see your mother of all person I behave like this. What you think the public are gonna think about you? This lady has come out and has said her son innocent, but yet still she has said if she didn't know so the police them would have come, she'd have meet them at the gate with her cutlass. What exactly you would have do the cutlass? The next big wrong move what you do is having the grandchild in this video on your hip side. And you even go as far as stating what you would have do to the police them from what you would have do right in front of that child. We well, know the reason why you do it still you now because you want when we see the video we feel sorry for you and all of that. But mommy, that are the biggest wrong move you could have ever do in your life. You have to know how to conduct yourself in front of a child. Them say children live what they learn. Just for see your behavior we can tell what your son was like. Moving right along, make we hear what else she had to say. And the police come and grab him. Right here, me sit. Right here, me catch. When them have him, I shoot him. And he, and he shoot me back inside. And I shoot and I lock the door. Where was he shot? Right there. Right here? Yeah. Look here. The police want him. Take him and question him. You say am I son kill quick police at what more you know you know you don't bring him in Mummy, bringing him in was your job because him did listed as wanted. Instead you carry him in, you accommodate him. You know, hear what the news say he was living in Portmore, St. Catherine. But all of a sudden, he moved from Portmore, St. Catherine, coming to Kingston, come stay with his mother. Why? As the policeman gets slapped away, you just left Portmore and come to Kingston, sir. And what kind of coincidence that? When the policeman dead, my son was here this Saturday. Me no know nothing now when we go Central Food Packers. Me here said the policeman dead. My son no go and go to park, no time at all. See, the could be here when left. When left, one year old. You the mother as say your son innocent and you know that him not go Gregory Park none at all. But mommy, if you did know say him one hundred percent innocent, you know say him listed as a person of interest in a situation like that. Why you never take him in to the station when you get one lawyer and go and go clear him name? It was simple as that. But no, when you decide say for could be mean, try for hide him until the police them find him. And this is the outcome. There is nobody to blame but yourself and him. I want to me see in all my life of growing up, you know. You see every parent so put them neck on the block for them child. 
always turn around and shame. Them picnic always show them the innocent side of them and back of them, them are the devil himself. The commissioner of police have to say something about this. The same police where the police sent out, that is the same police. Come back and say they want pimp pimp. Because uh, one man where they pan the list, they are falling all along. We want justice. We need justice. But people, my always tell you say you now. Yes, the citizens them and them community I always blame Andrew for everything. Everything Andrew need for hear this and Andrew this and Andrew that. When them don't realize, say, when all of this a happen, Andrew dying yard sit down. When your son out there a run from the police, Andrew did dying yard sit down. Why you never make a video put on social media say your son innocent and Andrew need for hear this. You never do nothing like that. So why now when the ball in a phone or court, you not always blame the Prime Minister? The Prime Minister not have nothing to do with this. You know? Whether your son is innocent or not, you not play the game wrong from in at the beginning. Once it did call up say him wanted, you should have taken him into the police station. If you know say 100% innocent, you not should have afraid. You not should have just go in and clear his name and get it over with. And let's not forget, this is the first mother Mr. cry for your child in a situation like this and not one yai water in a drop. All this woman has scream out, she a ball out, she a holla out. I don't see one yai water rolled on this lady face all now. It not add up. A uh, young man seek to challenge the police officers and um, he, was, he was apprehended by the team. And during the ordeal, he was injured and taken to the Kingston Public Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. We, we later found out um, just that, that he was, intelligence was pointing to him as one of the main perpetrators in the attack of the late sergeant, who was also, um, interestingly, attached to St. Andrew South at the time of his demise. But we really want to pace and cut and paste the, the, the whole scenario to see exactly what, what, what this young man is in, what was involved in, who he was involved with, and, um, and we shall continue to pursue. We shall continue to seek to disrupt criminal activities, not just in this division, but coordinatingly across the country as best as we can. So see the people on the ear with the police them have to say about this whole incident. As I said earlier, if your son did innocent, you spread spreading a better wrong. Viewers and subscribers, I would love to hear what are your thoughts on this story down in the comment section. Remember, my opinion is not always the gospel. So I'm not afraid to leave your thoughts down there. Make a whole a conversation. You don't really think this young man was innocent or not. You don't make me know, no? We have made it to the end of our next video. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. I'm out and stay blessed and stay safe.